Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's been a very big moment in my life recently. I just moved to New York City a couple months ago. Woo! Yeah, uh, it's truly been just okay. <laughs> oh, God. New, New York is a place I live now. Um, I realized pretty early on moving there that because I'm a pretty safe looking black man, that strangers love talking to me. And I was on the train talking to this one woman, just having small talk. And she asked me where was I from originally. And I was like, oh, the south side of Chicago. And then I did some posing. So I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> and she replied, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I was like, well, damn, bitch, you have strong opinions. <laughs> um, and then she leaned in closer and she asked, have you ever been shot? <laughs> and I replied, first of all, have you no cooth, white devil? <laughs> We just met. <laughs> How would you feel if I asked, where are your lips? <laughs> and then second of all, no, I have not been shot. And I think that's a very shitty stereotype that perpetuates the idea that Chicago is a very violent place. So I want to say right now in front of all of you that yes, I was born and raised on the south side of, of Chicago and I've never been shot. Thank you so much, I'm a hero. Thank you, thank you. I have been shot at though, but they missed every time. <laughs> I'm a fucking gazelle. <laughs> oh, Jack is coming off. She's gonna get real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My feelings about Chicago are pretty unique. Like as a black man, I love Chicago. I would defend it to the end. As a gay man, I place could suck a bag of dicks and die. <laughs> but Chicago, <laughs> it is trash. It could burn to the ground again. <laughs> And it's funny because I think Chicago is the reason why I'm as gay as I am. Like, was I born gay? Maybe. <laughs> uh, I came out of my mother's vagina and I was like, oh my God, yeah, what is this? What the fuck? And then the doctor smacked my ass and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, Zaddy. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I realized that I was gay at a pretty young age, but I also realized that within certain environments, it was not okay to be gay. So I was in the closet for quite a bit of time. And I remember the exact moment my gayness was solidified. I was dating this girl named Raven. I hope she's not here. <laughs> and uh, it was the day that I lost my virginity. We went to her grandparents' house, because we're edgy. And um, <laughs> we got there, took off our clothes, put on some music. I asked if it could be Celine Dion. She said no. <laughs> And then I started to smash that cat. And um, it was great. It was going well. She was looking at me. I was looking at a picture of her father. Um, and then she was like, let's raise the stakes. And I was like, please don't. And she was like, hey, go down on me. And I was like, for sure, I love a challenge. So um, <laughs> I go down there. and <laughs> Ladies, it is complex down there. And I didn't really know what I was doing, so I just started experimenting. So I slapped it a little bit, <laughs> blew inside of it, counted the rings to see how old it was. And she was like, no, silly, use your tongue. And I was like, oh my God, thank you for the tip. So um, I proceeded to place my tongue somewhere I can only describe as textually unsettling. It had the texture of like a flan, or like a tres leches cake, and very moist, very spongy but it tastes like a bag of nickels. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I'm gay. Oh my God, ah, ah. But I couldn't tell her that because I was still in the closet. So I was just like, oh my God, I'm so full. I can't have another bite. <laughs> <laughs> and I never did. <laughs>